are Northwest Plus Credit Union. We're different than banks. We are a not-for-profit financial cooperative. That means we're owned by our members, not by out-of-state investors. We opened our first location in 1939 in Everett. Today, anyone who lives, works, or worships in Washington can be a member. Expect more. Experience local. Check out Northwest Plus Credit Union today. What makes a name? You might think it's the game winners or the highlights, but the foundation is ours. Sacrifice. And failure. Thousands of reps. Did you think it was easy? The work behind this name will make it echo forever. IRD Physical and Hand Therapy is the Northwest premier physical and hand therapy group with over 35 clinics located throughout the Puget Sound area and multiple located throughout Everett. There is an IRG clinic located in a neighborhood near you. Our neighborhood clinics provide compassionate and individualized care in a friendly environment. The clinics use the latest techniques and technologies to achieve exceptional results. Head to IRGPT.com to schedule your free movement screen today. Patrick, Jake from State Farm, explain this bundling thing again. All right, Coach Reed, let's say these fries are your car, right? And Uh-huh. And this burger is your home. Okay. It can be more affordable if you bundle them together. Kind of like a combo meal. Kind of like a combo meal. Mmm. Explain it again with those nuggies. Oh. Bundling, just another way to save with a personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Our communities need those who grew up in them to show them the way forward. I want to be the local leader that I needed when I was growing up. My name is Tamara Demery. I grew up on the south side of Chicago with my grandma and six of my sisters. They made sure that I was able to find my passion. And that's how I discovered basketball and how I found my voice. Through my work with Nike, I started volunteering to work with kids. I tried to create a moment to have a positive conversation to guide them forward. Playing basketball growing up meant uniting the community with something everyone loved. Today, I still use hoops to build a family with the kids I work with and help my community find healing through sport. I want to be the hero that I didn't have when I was growing up. It's on all of us to help the community we came from. I've always had passion for writing in sports. Every community college has given me the opportunity to pursue a career in sports journalism that combines the two. The athletic scholarship I received, along with affordable tuition, have made it possible for me to run track while writing for the student newspaper. And my advisors have helped me stay on track to graduate and transfer to a university. I'm Aiden Lur, and I chose EVCC. Entire season boils down to one word. Bundle home and auto. But that's four words. Not if you bundle them. Oh. Bundling. Just another way to save with a personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I'm using my voice for representation. I'm black, I'm Muslim, I'm a woman. 
My name is Fatria Mohammed, and I'm the founder of the Muslim Women's Summer Basketball League. I was born in Oromia and came to Canada when I was 10. I didn't even know the language yet, but my PE teacher encouraged me to play basketball. I fell in love with hoops. Toronto is so diverse and multicultural. I want to offer that space of inclusivity to other girls too, even when they are the only hijabi on the court. The culture of basketball, the togetherness, the sisterhood are the reasons I chose sport management as a career. We will show the world Muslim women are strong and powerful. We will bring down stereotypes as we build up our game. Women supporting women is what's going to push us further in life. You're never too young to make a difference. We can do anything we set our minds to. My name is Jaquil Jackson. I am the founder and leader of Project I Am. I grew up in the south side of Chicago, surrounded by givers. My aunt made sure to expose us to the side of reality where not everything is perfect. That's why I started Project I Am, with the goal to build awareness and fight homelessness. It's freezing right now. Can you imagine having to sleep out here? Just never forget that home people are people too. I've been playing basketball my whole life. It's helped me maintain focus, determination, and increase my amount of fearlessness. Every skill I choose to learn is aimed to strengthen my game and my mindset. I bring that to my organization. My message for those listening, don't wait to be great. Reaching our goals is what's going to make the struggle worth it. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We are about two minutes away, about two minutes away from Trojan basketball.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Ghost joining you once again, coming to you live from Larry Walker Court, deep inside the Walt Price Student Fitness Center here at Everett Community College. Trojan basketball is underway once again. Conference play ready to start. Trojans coming in with a 10-4 and non-conference record. Tritons coming in 10-5 and as they got one extra game snuck in there. The two teams are ready to kick things off on the games that count. 15 more seconds on the warm-up clock, and we'll be ready to go. We're going to go courtside with uh, in-house announcer Dan Murphy as he will give us our starting lineups for each team, and then we will be ready to go. Hope you can join us down here in the future as there is always room for one or two or three more. If you can't make it down there, we'll have every home game for you live right here. Streaming to you on the YouTube. Coming to you live from the Wall Price Student Fitness Center. Looks like we are just about ready for our starting lineups. We'll start off with the Tritons going courtside to Mr. Murphy by introducing the starters of these two teams who will be battling it out on the Larry Walker court. Let's begin with the visitors, the Tritons of Admins College. Here is their starting lineup. Beginning first, sophomore swing man wearing number zero, Jack Sims. Next up, a sophomore guard wearing number one, Chris Lee, joining him in the backcourt of freshman guard number four, Esser Motley. Next up at the point, a sophomore number 20, Trayvon Hamilton. And rounding out the starters for the visiting Tritons tonight in the front court, number 23, Josiah Pierre. The Tritons are coached by assistants, Ronnie, Steele Williams, Ron Newton, Thomas Doyle, Chuck, Easy OKK, and the head coach, Kyle Gray. All right, I know you're here. Come on, Trojan Nation! Let's make a little noise here on Rivalry Night, because it is time to introduce the starters of the home team, your Everett Trojans. We begin first with a freshman guard out of Arlington, Washington, numero uno, number one, Ethan Martin. Joining him in the backcourt, another freshman guard from right here in Everett, Washington, number two, Jalen Johnson. Next up, one of the leading scorers in the conference, a sophomore guard out of Delta, Utah, number three, Derek Smith. Also at guard, a sophomore from Wasilla, Alaska, number five, Daniel Headings. And rounding out the starters for the home team Trojans, a sophomore forward from Honolulu, Hawaii, number 15, Rafe McEnroe. The Trojans are coached by assistant Caleb Bryson and the head coach riding a winning streak here in his first season at the helm, Daniel Thompson. Bringing the lights back up and we are ready to go. Trojan basketball is back live on the air. Trojans and Tritons facing off tonight. Rafe McEnroe out facing off against Josiah Pierre for the tip. Now we are ready. Trojans win the tip. Martin passes that back to Johnson. And off to Martin. Smith, back to Smith, actually back to Martin. He'll shoot for three. Ethan Martin drains the three to start us off. Three zip, Trojans. 
Crichton's with the ball. Lee driving in. He'll put it up. No good. Trojans get it back. And the pass goes out of bounds. Unforced turnover there. Crichton's will get another chance. Crowd already getting rowdy down underneath us. Inbound to Pierre. That one goes out of bounds. Everybody but the referees thought that was last touch by the Tritons, but home crowd is a little bit of a home crowd here. Motley to inbound. And they're going to say a blocking foul. First team foul goes to the Trojans. First personal is on Jalen Johnson. It's going to send Josiah Pierre. Pierre comes to Edmonds from Kamiak High School. First shot is good. Edmonds is on the board. It's 3-1. to one. Second shot is also good. It's a one-point ball game. Johnson across half court. Back to him. Trying to find his way in. Passes it out to Martin. Over here to Headings. And off to Smith. McEnroe. He'll fade out. Shot is just short off the iron. Lee gets underneath. Shot off the glass. That's Sims, that is. Shot is good. Johnson puts a shot up, but he gets fouled. I think before he can get the shot. Now they're going to say shooting foul. First team foul on Edmonds. First personal falls to Jack Sims. Since Jalen Johnson to the line. Jalen comes to us from Mariner High School. Shot is good. Tied back up at four apiece. Second shot. Puts ever back on top. Five to four. Hamilton with it. Lee passes over to Hamilton. He kicks it out. Back to Hamilton over in the corner. Underneath to Sims. Puts the shot up right over Martin. That's good. Edmonds back up by one. Martin across half court. Smith with it. He'll drive. Off the glass and good. Trojans back up by one. Shot in traffic. They're going to say he drew a foul. Second team foul on the Trojans. First personal on Derek Smith. Going to send Josiah Pierre back to the line. That is good. Tie game, seven apiece. Pierre's second shot is good as well. Triton's back up by one. Back and forth so far early in this contest. Johnson with it. Hand off to Martin. With the McEnroe. Rafe trying to work in. Kicks that out. Headings with it. Johnson working his way in. Kicks it outside again. Shot up from Smith is good. Derek Smith with a three. Trojans up by two now. Motley drives. Loses his footing, handle, and the ball. 
Tritons lose possession. Everett basketball. 7-18 to go in the first half. Jalen Johnson across half court. Passes it out. Back to Johnson. He'll shoot. A little offline. Whistle blows. 13 foul on Everett. It's going to be the first personal on Ethan Martin. Triton basketball. Hamilton calls the play. Comes across half court. Motley with it. Sims passes underneath. Back out. Motley for three. Back iron no good. Tritons get it back. Shot up from Pierre. Short. Fight for the rebound. Trojans get it. Martin across half court. Tries to get it underneath and too much traffic. Lee passes it off. Lee with it again. Shot off the glass is good. Tied up at 10. Johnson across half court. Jalen hands it off. Martin back to Johnson. Pass just out of reach of Rafe McEnroe. It's going to be Triton basketball tied at 10. Motley with it. Passes off to Pierre. Gets it underneath. Shot up and good from Sims. Tritons up by two. Martin with it. Working underneath. Passes it off to Headings. Puts a shot up. Draws a foul. Second team foul on Edmonds. First personal on Pierre. Daniel Headings at the line. Daniel from Wasilla High School in Alaska. Puts his first shot up and good. It's ever back within one. Substitution is Hayden Knaxis in. Second shot from Eddings. Wheels around and falls out. Hamilton gives that up to Lee. He drives a lot of hands in there. They're going to say the shot is good, and he drew the foul. So he'll get a chance at a three-point play. Edmonds up 14 to 11. Fourth team foul, first personal on McEnroe. So Chris Lee at the line. Lee came to Edmonds from Ketchikan High School. Shot rattles out and back in. Trojans with the ball down by four now. Jalen with the ball. Passes off to Headings. Gives it up to McEnroe. Back to Johnson. His shot a little bit short. Tritons with the ball. Lee comes across with it. Gives it up. Sims now back to Lee. Shot up just off line. Johnson with the rebound and he'll bring it across. Pass goes into the Edmonds bench and we are going to get a timeout on the floor. 14.34 to go in the first half. It's Edmonds 15, Everett 11. We'll be right back. I chose Everett Community College because I'm the youngest of three siblings and we are all first-generation students. 
All my sisters came here, so I am following in their footsteps to pursue higher education while saving money. My advice to others would be to be proud for considering a community college, especially Everett Community College, because it's a beautiful, diverse, and inclusive campus that is really worth attending. Take your next step at everettcc.edu. We are Northwest Plus Credit Union. We're different than banks. We are a not-for-profit financial cooperative. That means we're owned by our members, not by out-of-state investors. We opened our first location in 1939 in Everett. Today, anyone who lives, works, or worships in Washington can be a member. Expect more. Experience local. Check out Northwest Plus Credit Union today. Welcome back. Trojans down by four to the Tritons early on here in the first half. Just over five minutes into the contest. It's going to be Trojan basketball. Daniel Headings inbounds to Johnson. Hands it off to Smith. Over here. It's underneath to Canaxis. Loses it, gets it back himself. Headings with a shot and. So part of me, McEnroe with the shot. That is good. Trojans back within two. Lee with it. Directing traffic. Hamilton over to Sims. Motley. Two seconds on the shot clock, long three, a little bit too long. Tritons get the ball back. Another three, that one is good. Hamilton dropping that in and the Tritons are up 18-13. Johnson drives in, kicks it outside. McEnroe can't quite get that one to drop. Long pass up to Lee. Rebound Trojans. Headings crawling that one. Johnson across half court. McEnroe over to Canaxis. His shot swirls in for two. Makes it a three-point ball game. Motley with it. We'll stop, pop, and drop one in. Edmonds takes the two back. Five-point ball game. Jalen cross half court. Headings with it. Shot. Can't quite get it to fall. Whistle before the shot. That's going to be on Edmonds. Trojan basketball. Jalen Johnson, cross half court. Passes up to Headings. Hands it off to Smith. Derrick will take a shot. Rebound underneath by McEnroe. Canaxis is put back. They're, they're going to say a jump ball before he can get it free. Arrow favors Edmonds, so it's going to be Triton basketball. 12.02 to go in the first half. Hamilton takes the inbounds, cross half court. Jalen guarding him. We'll shoot a long three. Shoots a little too long. Back iron. Trojan basketball. It's 
Smith inbounds to Martin, or Johnson, pardon me. Hand off. Harding gives up to McEnroe. Back to Harding, back to Johnson. Shot up from Harding is good. Nate Harding for three. It's ever back within two. Pierre passes over to the corner. Underneath, shot is up and good for the Tritons. Solomon Barnes with the two. Johnson across half court. Back to him. Harding, three, a little bit long. Four point difference here. Daniel with the shot. Bounces up and drops it. Johnson across half court, passes ahead to McEnroe. He gives it up to Smith. Bouncing to Johnson. Whirls that one around and off the other side. Shot up for three, rattles in. Adani Daniel puts in the three. Edmonds up by nine, and we are going to get a timeout on the floor. Edmonds 27, Everett 18, 9.59 to go in the first half. We'll be right back. Physical and Hand Therapy is the Northwest premier physical and hand therapy group with over 35 clinics located throughout the Puget Sound area and multiple located throughout Everett. There is an IRG clinic located in a neighborhood near you. Our neighborhood clinics provide compassionate and individualized care in a friendly environment. The clinics use the latest techniques and technologies to achieve exceptional results. Head to IRGPT.com to schedule your free movement screen today. Under 10 minutes to go in the first half. 9.59, Trojans suddenly trailing by nine to the Tritons. Going to be Everett basketball. Rafe McEnroe to inbound. Tritons providing pressure. Jalen Johnson with it. Over to McEnroe. He'll take it across half court. Whistle blows, and we're going to get a reach-in foul. Third team foul on the Tritons. First personal on Solomon Barnes. It's going to be Trojan basketball, 20 on the shot clock. And downs takes Jalen Way into backcourt. He'll bring it back. Comes over here to Harding. McEnroe back to Harding. Pass underneath is taken away. Newer bowl with it. Shot is up and good. It's an 11 point ball game. Martin with it. Shot up from Harding, rattles in. Nate with a three. Makes it an eight point game. No look, whoop de doo, and it goes right in. Johnson tries to answer, but can't get it to fall. 
Shot off the glass is no good, but we get a whistle on the way. It's going to be the fifth team foul on Everett. First personal on Nate Harding. That'll send Adani Daniel to the line. Daniel comes to Edmonds by way of Edmonds Woodway High School, local product. And that one is no good. Or that one is good. <laughs> Previously was no good. Martin with the ball. Shot. Can't get it to fall. And we're going to get a jump ball. Arrow favors Everett this time. So it's going to be Trojan basketball. Still got 19 on the shot clock. Ethan Martin to inbounds. Then to Headings. That's under to Canaxis. His shot drops in. Everett back with a nine. Daniel. Shot goes over the top. Rebound bounces around, comes to Everett, but we get a whistle. Sixth team foul on the Trojans. First personal is called on Khalil Gilbert. Non-shooting foul, Tritons with the ball. Whistle, it's gonna be a turnover, Everett basketball. Like he caught a heel on the red line back there. Gilbert, cross half court. Pass underneath to Canaxis. Shot is good. Ever within seven now. Caleb Lee. Now over to Bull. Bull shot is a little short. Fighting for the rebound. Triton's come out with it. Long three. A little bit offline. Trojans with the ball. Ethan Martin corrals it and takes it across half court. Whistle blows. It's going to be Triton basketball. 7.19 to go in the half. Inbound, works its way to Caleb Lee. Pierre, shot up from Daniel. Everett's down by 10. Martin across half court. Hands it off. Gilbert loses the handle but gets it back. Headings with it now, hand off to Smith. Whistle blows, foul called. It's going to be the fourth team foul on Edmonds. First personal on Shiloh Zevenbergen. Inbound to McEnroe. Gives it up to Gilbert, hand off. Pass over here to Smith and Back to Smith. Pass underneath to McEnroe, out to Smith. He'll shoot for three, just a little short. Stays the 10 point game with 6.28 to go in the first half. Caleb Lee across half court. Pierre with it, he gives it up. 
Daniel trying to work underneath. And his shot is good. It's a 12-point difference. Ethan Martin can't get under. Shot from McEnroe, just off. Out of bounds, they're saying last touched by the Trojans. It'll be Triton ball, 6.01 to go in the half. Caleb Lee directing traffic for the Tritons. Hands it off to Daniel. Loses his balance, puts a shot up, and it's going to be Trojan basketball. Everett down by 12. 5.40 to go in the half. Smith. Passes it off to Johnson. Martin with it. Gets it poked away. They're going to say off of his leg, out of bounds. Going to be Triton ball, 527 in the half. Lee across half court. Met by Smith. Nice block from behind. But the putback is good. Triton's. Push their lead. Smith passes under to DeMacinerow. Shot is good. And it'll count. They'll send him to the line. Chance to make it three. As the fifth team foul is the second personal from Josiah Pierre. So it's Rafe McEnroe to the line. Rafe from Farrington High School in Honolulu. And we're ready to go. McEnroe's first shot. Actually his only shot makes it a three-point play. Five minutes to go in the half. Sims passes it off. Shot up from Daniel is good. It's Edmonds back up by 13. Johnson passes it across. Headings. Gets it poked away. And we are going to get a timeout on the floor. 4.37 to go in the first half. It's Edmonds 41, Everett 28. We'll be back right after this. We are Northwest Plus Credit Union. We're different than banks. We are a not-for-profit financial cooperative. That means we're owned by our members, not by out-of-state investors. We opened our first location in 1939 in Everett. Today, anyone who lives, works, or worships in Washington can be a member. Expect more. Experience local. Check out Northwest Plus Credit Union today. Patrick, Jake from State Farm. Explain this bundling thing again. All right, Coach Reed. Let's say these fries are your car, right? And uh huh. And this burger is your home. Okay. It can be more affordable if you bundle them together. Kind of like a combo meal. Kind of like a combo meal. Mmm. Explain it again with those nuggies. Oh. Um. Bundling, just another way to save with the personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is... Four thirty-seven to go in the first half. Trojans down by 13. Trojan pep band entertaining the crowd in between. It's going to be Everett basketball with Jalen Johnson to inbound. Quick shot up from Rafe McEnroe is no good. Shooting a little chilly tonight for, the, for Everett. 
Long pass across court goes out of bounds. Trojans will get it back. 4.25 to go in the half. Headings will inbound to Johnson. Pass up to Martin. Over to Smith. Johnson with it again. They're going to call an offensive foul. No defensive foul, pardon me. Seventh team foul on Edmonds. First personal on Chris Lee. Since Jalen Johnson to the line. Jalen joins us from Mariner High School. And the shot rolls off no good. Rebound. Jalen gets it again. Tries to get it in to McEnroe, but it's taken away. Daniel with the ball. His shot rolls off. Rebound Lee. He'll put it back, and that one is good. 15-point game. Johnson across half court. Hands it off to Martin. Ethan looking for a play. Working in. Passes it out to Headings. Back to Martin. Say the shot would not count even if it fell. It's going to be Triton basketball. Jack Sims to inbound for the Tritons. It's a 17-point difference. Three and a half to go in the first half. Pass goes out of bounds. Unforced turnover on the Tritons. Another chance for Everett. Got to take advantage of these. Headings to inbound. Johnson across half court. Back to Johnson. Headings. Hands it off to Weimer. Johnson. Hand off. Smith takes a shot. Just offline. Everett can't take advantage. Three to go. Newer bowl with it. Can't get that to fall. Rebound. Poked out of bounds. Last touched by the Tritons. Everett ball, 250 to go in the half. Johnson cross half court. Pass over to Smith. Hand off to Headings. Derek passes over to McEnroe. Shot up from Smith. Can't get it to fall. Rebound. McEnroe put back. No good. Out of bounds. Last touch by Edmonds. Everett will retain possession with 2.24 to go in the half. They've got to get some points on the board. They're just not falling. Johnson inbounds. McEnroe. Great. Back to Johnson. Jalen passes to the corner. Shot from Smith. Nothing but net. There we go. Derek getting it going. 2.10 to go. Trojans with 31. Shot for three. A little long. Trojans with the rebound. Now let's do it again. Smith with it. Over here to Weimer. Shot's blocked. Tritons with the ball. Lee. Gets it to drop. The Tritons push their lead a little further. Johnson gets it back. McEnroe, he'll shoot for three. A little long. Fight for the rebound. 
Lee came up with it, but he can't get the shot. Put back from Sims is good. And Edmonds wants to take a timeout. Triton's lead by 16, 118 to go in the half, and we'll be right back. I've always had passion for writing in sports. Ever Community College has given me the opportunity to pursue a career in sports journalism that combines the two. The athletic scholarship I received, along with affordable tuition, have made it possible for me to run track while writing for the student newspaper. And my advisors have helped me stay on track to graduate and transfer to a university. I'm Aiden Lur, and I chose EVCC. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. We've got a minute 18 to go till halftime. Trojans down by 16. Everett basketball. Jalen with the ball. Passes across half court to McEnroe. Ray tries to give it back, and it's stolen away. Motley. Shot no good, rebound, Tritons. Put back no good, again, and then it'll fall. Inside a minute. Johnson with it. Back to Jalen. McEnroe, Smith. We'll take a shot, get it to fall, and a chance for a three-point play. Eighth team foul on Edmonds, and that's the first personal on Motley. So Derek Smith from Delta High School in Utah steps up to the line. I gotta say, I'm liking these jerseys that Everett have this year, the checks down the side. Shot is missed. Kind of make me feel like uh, throwing on some ska right now. Hamilton with it. About eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Lee. Passes underneath. Sims shot, won't fall, and that's a shot clock violation. So six and a half left on the game clock. It's going to be Trojan basketball. One more chance to get something on the board here. And trim that lead a little. Four seconds, three seconds, two, the shot, long three is short, and that's how we're going to end up. At the half, it's Edmonds 49, Everett 33. Trojans with some work to do coming out of the halftime. We're going to take a little break and see what happens.
are Northwest Plus Credit Union. We're different than banks. We are a not-for-profit financial cooperative. That means we're owned by our members, not by out-of-state investors. We opened our first location in 1939 in Everett. Today, anyone who lives, works, or worships in Washington can be a member. Expect more. Experience local. Check out Northwest Plus Credit Union today. What makes a name? You might think it's the game winners or the highlights, but the foundation is ours. Sacrifice. And failure. Thousands of reps. Did you think it was easy? The work behind this name will make it echo forever. IRD Physical and Hand Therapy is the Northwest premier physical and hand therapy group with over 35 clinics located throughout the Puget Sound area and multiple located throughout Everett. There is an IRG clinic located in a neighborhood near you. Our neighborhood clinics provide compassionate and individualized care in a friendly environment. The clinics use the latest techniques and technologies to achieve exceptional results. Head to IRGPT.com to schedule your free movement screen today. Patrick, Jake from State Farm, explain this bundling thing again. All right, Coach Reed. Let's say these fries are your car, right? And uh huh. And this burger is your home. Okay. It can be more affordable if you bundle them together. Kind of like a combo meal. Kind of like a combo meal. Mmm. Explain it again with those nuggies. Uh -huh. Bundling. Just another way to save with the personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Our communities need those who grew up in them to show them the way forward. I want to be the local leader that I needed when I was growing up. My name is Tamara Demery. I grew up on the south side of Chicago with my grandma and six of my sisters. They made sure that I was able to find my passion. And that's how I discovered basketball and how I found my voice. Through my work with Nike, I started volunteering to work with kids. I tried to create a moment to have a positive conversation to guide them forward. Playing basketball growing up meant uniting the community with something everyone loved. Today, I still use hoops to build a family with the kids I work with and help my community find healing through sport. I want to be the hero that I didn't have when I was growing up. It's on all of us to help the community we came from. I've always had passion for writing in sports. Every community college has given me the opportunity to pursue a career in sports journalism that combines the two. The athletic scholarship I received, along with affordable tuition, have made it possible for me to run track while writing for this student newspaper. And my advisors have helped me stay on track to graduate and transfer to a university. I'm Aiden Lur, and I chose EVCC. Entire season boils down to one word. Bundle home and auto. But that's four words. Not if you bundle them. Oh. Bundling. Just another way to save with the personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I'm using my voice for representation. I'm black, I'm Muslim, I'm a woman. 
My name is Fatria Mohammed, and I'm the founder of the Muslim Women's Summer Basketball League. I was born in Oromia and came to Canada when I was 10. I didn't even know the language yet, but my PE teacher encouraged me to play basketball. I fell in love with hoops. Toronto is so diverse and multicultural. I want to offer that space of inclusivity to other girls too, even when they are the only hijabi on the court. The culture of basketball, the togetherness, the sisterhood are the reasons I chose sport management as a career. We will show the world Muslim women are strong and powerful. We will bring down stereotypes as we build up our game. Women supporting women is what's going to push us further in life. You're never too young to make a difference. We can do anything we set our minds to. My name is Jaquel Jackson. I am the founder and leader of Project I Am. I grew up in the south side of Chicago, surrounded by givers. My aunt made sure to expose us to the side of reality where not everything is perfect. That's why I started Project I Am, with the goal to build awareness and fight homelessness. It's freezing right now. Can you imagine having to sleep out here? Just never forget that homeless people are people too. I've been playing basketball my whole life. It's helped me maintain focus, determination, and increase my amount of fearlessness. Every skill I choose to learn is aimed to strengthen my game and my mindset. I bring that to my organization. My message for those listening, don't wait to be great. Reaching our goals is what's going to make the struggle worth it.
Halftime winding down, taking a look at the team comparison. And this pretty much says what's going on. 37.5% shooting from the field for the Trojans, 52.6% for Edmonds. From the outside the three-point arc, Everett is a little bit above the Tritons, 38.5% to 30%, but still five of 13 outside the three-point range. Need to heat the shooting up. Speaking of shooting, taking a quick look at the stats. We'll start with Edmonds. Leading all scorers is Andoni Daniel with 13, 12 from Lee, six apiece from Sims and Bull, four from Pierre, three from Hamilton, two each from Barnes and Motley, and one from Lee for your Trojans. Leading the way is Derek Smith with 10. Six apiece from Canaxis and Harding, five from McEnroe, three from Martin, two from Johnson, and one from Headings. Trojans looking to warm up the shooting here in the second half as they are down by 16, 49 to 33 to these Tritons. Players coming back out on the court. It's going to be Edmonds basketball to start off the second half. Jack Sims to inbound for the Tritons. And we are underway. Hamilton coming across half court. Met by Johnson. Pass over to Sims. Back to Pierre. Moves it up to Motley. Motley with a shot. In and out. Rebound McEnroe. Smith with a shot, drops it in. There we go, off to a good start. Hamilton brings it back outside. Pass over to Sims. He's up to Motley. Lee. It's gonna be Everett basketball. First foul of the half goes to Edmonds. Offensive foul. Third personal on Josiah Pierre. Eddings will inbounds to Johnson. Jalen across half court. It's right across the Trojan logo. Eddings with it. Over to Johnson. He'll shoot for three. A little bit long. Trains with the rebound. Unable to get the shot up is Pierre, but he gets fouled in the process. First team foul for Everett. Second personal on Rafe McEnroe. So Pierre at the line. First shot is good. Edmonds has 50. Second shot is good as well. Trojans down by 16 now. Johnson passes ahead to Smith. He gives it up to Martin. Martin shot. It's no good, but he draws a whistle. Second team foul on Edmonds. He's also the second personal on Jack Sims. Since Ethan Martin to the line, Martin joins us from Arlington High School. And the shot's good. Gives Everett 36. Second shot, good as well. 14 point difference. Pardon me, yeah, 14 points. And they put it on the board. This whistle on the way through. Second team foul, second personal on Johnson. Sends Hamilton to the line. Trayvon Hamilton comes from Beaverton High School in Beaverton, Oregon. And they are going to say that was not a shooting foul. I didn't think so, but I wasn't going to point it out. 
So Tritons get the ball. Chris Lee drives underneath, backs off again. Gets a shot, swirls it in for two. Johnson passes ahead to Martin. Pass underneath, nice to Jalen Johnson. And he'll go to the line. Third team foul on the Tritons, second personal on Chris Lee. Jalen, the Mariner High School product. Puts the first shot, puts a shot up and in, makes it a three point play. Hamilton passes underneath to Sims, and we get a whistle. It's going to be Everett basketball. Trojans getting it back, chance to close in a little closer. Eddings will inbound to Johnson. Sims going to the bench for the Tritons. Jalen across half court. McEnroe with it. Drives. Takes a shot. Rafe for two. 11 point difference now. Motley passes it off. Pierre gets it taken away. Johnson with it. Cross half court. Smith loses his footing. We're going to say he was helped down to the floor. Fifth team foul for Edmonds. First personal on Hamilton. Eddings to inbound the ball. Johnson with it. And off to Martin, over here to Headings. He'll drive, kicks it out. McEnroe for three. Rafe drops it in. Gets Everett within eight, 53 to 45. Motley with it. Drives in, off the glass and good. Makes it a 10 point difference again, and we've got a timeout on the floor. Edmonds 55, Everett 45, 1708 to go in the ball game. We'll be right back. What makes a name? You might think it's the game winners or the highlights, but the foundation is ours. Sacrifice. Thousands of reps. Did you think it was easy? The work behind this name will make it echo forever. Seventeen oh eight to go in the second half. Trojans down by just 10 now. So they're making a comeback here. It's going to be Everett basketball. Derek Smith to inbounds. Johnson back to Smith. He'll bring it across. Back to Johnson. Derek with it again. He'll take a shot. Leaves it short. Gets his own rebound. 
Putback's no good. Gets his own rebound again. Sends it back out to Jalen. Now he'll try a three. A little short two. Rebound Johnson. New shot clock. Headings for three. Rattles it in. Trojans back within seven. Hamilton gives it up. Sims with it. Gives it outside, back underneath, and Trojans take it away, but they're going to call a whistle. And that's going to be the third team foul. They're going to say third personal on McEnroe. Triton ball. Chris Lee with it. Gets that blocked. Johnson takes it. Lays it up and in. Trojans with 50. Five point difference. Tritons take it back. Smith working underneath. Tries to pass it into the corner, gets it taken away. And it's taken right back. McEnroe leaves that one a little short. Chris Lee, coast to coast, lays it up and in. Puts Edmonds back up by nine. Johnson across half court. Shot up for Martin, just a little short. Motley with it. And we are going to get a charge. Charge called on Motley. That's the sixth team foul. It's going to be his second personal. And we're going to get a timeout on the floor. Trojans down by. What do you think you're doing? Minutes left to go. We'll be right back. What do you think you're doing, Kevin? I uh, was just going to drive home. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. Like hearing voices? Like your text to emoji ratio? Oh, man, the selfies. <laughs> Selfie nailed it. We all have warning signs that let us know that we're probably not okay to drive. Mine is pretending to be your subconscious. Craig, come on, man, let's put it right home. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. 14.56 left to go tonight. Trojans down by just nine now. Whittling away this Triton lead. Johnson across half court. Over in the corner, Martin kicks it back out, stolen away. Hamilton hands it off and it goes out of bounds. Not quite able to handle the Hamilton pass was Dupree. Trojans will get it back. Johnson back over here. Headings back to Johnson. He'll take it across half court. Pass ahead to Canaxis. Snuck it into Derek Smith and he laid it up and in. Seven point difference. Hamilton directing traffic. Shot up from Bowl is good for three. And it's a 10 point ball game again. Johnson, pass ahead to Canaxis. Gets it to Headings. Martin, back to Canaxis. Go, 
shot for three. Just offline. Ball starting to cool off forever to, again. They need to warm it back up. Daniel drives, lays it in. Everett's down by 12. Martin back to Johnson. Pressure falls back. And they're going to call a block. Seventh team foul. Third personal on Higgins. That'll send Jalen Johnson to the line. His shot bounces around, will not fall. Out of bounds. Last touch by Everett. Crowd not liking that call. We're going to get a little discussion between the refs. And they're going to overturn it. Better view from the sideline over here. Cooler heads prevail. Everett basketball. Johnson to inbound. Harding passes it off to Smith. He'll take a shot from the top of the key. Can't get it to fall. Daniel goes all the way. He goes down to the floor, but he gets help. Going to be the fourth team foul on Everett. Second personal on Derek Smith. A Donnie Daniel to the line. Shot bounces out. Different stays at a dozen. 13.07 left to go tonight. Second shot falls out. Trains with the rebound. And they turn it over. It's going to be Everett basketball now. 13.02. Trojans down by 12. Johnson hands off. Smith with it. Gets it poked away. Gets it back. Back to Johnson. Layup. It's good. Count the basket. And one. Ten-point game. Foul's going to be the eighth team foul. Second personal on Newer Bowl. That's going to send Derek Smith to the line. The shot is up and good. Three point play gets ever back within nine. Substitution sends Hamilton and Bowl to the bench for Edmonds. Daniel with the ball. Take a shot. Drops it in. 11 point game. Eddings passes it out to Canaxis. Over to Harding. Waits for traffic to fly by and can't get the shot to fall. Coast to coast was Chris Lee for two. Everett down by 13. We're going to get a timeout called by the Everett bench. We're going to take a little break. Just under 12 minutes to go. It's Edmund 68, Everett 55. We'll be back. No one picks up a ball wanting to change the world. They want to escape it. They want to become part of something. That something could take them anywhere. They can make a friend, make the team, or make the league. 
They could break a record in Seattle, break some ankles in Brooklyn, or make a believer in San Juan. They could become a star, a superstar, a big donation, start a foundation, unite the nation star. They really could change the world. We don't have a ceiling on how much we can improve our community. Well, we don't have to wait until then. We can do it right now with a choice. Go out and vote. Start with us as voters. And getting out and voting. Use your voice. Voting is power. It's going to make a difference. Right now, it's what's necessary. Because you don't need to be a star to have a voice. Just under 12 minutes to go, 11.56 on the clock. Trojans down by 13. Gonna be Everett basketball. Johnson with it. Smith back to Johnson. Over here to Smith, will drive underneath. Bounce pass to Canaxis. Can't get the shot off. Barnes across half court. And that's gonna be a block. Put a hand right in the middle of Smith's chest, but it's a block, I guess. The third personal on Smith. McEnroe coming in for the Trojans. Heading's going to take a rest. Ever basketball. Johnson bringing it across half court. And off to McEnroe. Rafe underneath to Canaxis. Back to McEnroe. His shot drops in. Everett with an 11. Daniel across half court. He'll shoot for three. Offline. Pass goes ahead to Smith. He'll lay it up and in for two. Everett's back in the single digits. Down by nine. Draws the foul. Chance for a three-point play. Tenth team foul on Edmonds. That's going to be the first personal on Daniel. Derek Smith to the line. Chance for the three-point play. And he gives Everett 60. Down by eight now. Just under 11 to play. Lee with the ball. But that one poked away. They are going to call a foul on Everett. Sixth team foul, fourth personal on Derek Smith. So Smith's carrying four fouls now. Shot is good. Caleb Lee at the line. Lee joins Edmonds from Glacier Peak High School. Second shot, no good. Foul on the rebound. 
That's going to be the fourth personal on Jack Sims. So Sims carrying four fouls now. Says Hayden can access to the line. Hayden joins us from Everett High School. Local boy done good. Shot, a little long. Off the back iron and back out. Trojan still trail by nine. Substitution for the Tritons brings Zevenbergen in. Canaxis shot. A little long again. Daniel passes outside. Sims trying to work in. That is a charge right there. Let me call this charge on Sims. Johnson goes down. Third personal on, oh, pardon me, Chris Lee, not Sims. Third personal on Lee. Johnson with the ball. Long pass, shot from the corner. Catches backboard. Nice rebound. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Weimer with it. Whistle stops play. Okay, it's going to be Everett basketball. A little confusion with the refs. Weimer to inbound. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Johnson with it. Five seconds. Four. Three. Canaxis. Jams it home. Hayden gets Everett within seven. Lee with it. Lee underneath. He'll dribble that one in. Makes it a nine point game again. McEnroe to the corner. Dropped in. Nate Harding for three. It's Everett within six now. Barnes directing traffic. Shot for three, no good. Rebound, Tritons. Put back is no good, and we're gonna get the foul. Weimer crowling it and taking the punishment. And we are gonna get a timeout on the floor. 9.14 to go. It's Edmonds 71, Everett 65. We'll be right back. I chose Everett Community College because I'm the youngest of three siblings, and we are all first-generation students. All my sisters came here, so I'm following in their footsteps to pursue higher education while saving money. My advice to others would be to be proud for considering a community college, especially Everett Community College, because it's a beautiful, diverse, and inclusive campus that is really worth attending. Take your next step at everettcc.edu. We are Northwest Plus Credit Union. We're different than banks. We are a not-for-profit financial cooperative. That means we're owned by our members, not by out-of-state investors. We opened our first location in 1939 in Everett. Today, anyone who lives, works, or worships in Washington can be a member. Expect more. Experience local. Check out Northwest Plus Credit Union today. 9.14 to go. Trojans down by six. 71 to 65. Little conference going on with the refs looking at the replays. 
seeing just what they need to do here. So Solomon Barnes with his third personal foul. It's going to send Weimer to the line. Riley comes to us from Mariner High School, and his first shot is up and good. Five-point game. That one bounces out. So the difference stays at five. Chris Lee across half court. Guarded by Johnson. Pierre shots no good. Johnson with the rebound. Chance to whittle away some more. Jalen drops it in. Everett down by three now. Caleb Lee with it. Over to Pierre. Hands it off to Daniel. Shot in and out. Trojan was with the ball. Johnson across half court. Sends it out. Open three. Nothing but net. Nate ties it up. 71 apiece. Daniel with the ball. Shot for three. Trojans with the rebound. Weimer. Johnson. Gets handcuffed on the way by. No foul, but Everett keeps the ball. 22 on the shot clock, tied at 71. Substitution. Brings Hamilton back in. Connexus can't get that to fall. Still tied. And we're going to see a foul called. It's going to be the seventh team foul on Everett. Fourth personal now on McEnroe. So McEnroe playing with four fouls. Now he's going to take his four fouls to the bench for a few minutes. Headings back in the game. Barnes at the line. Solomon Barnes from Nathan Hale High School. Puts Edmonds up by one. In and out. Johnson across half court. Chance for Everett to take the lead. Johnson, 10 on the shot clock. He'll shoot from the free throw line. That one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Everett. Going to be Triton ball. Everett down by one. 7.31 to go in the ball game. Pierre to inbound. Hamilton will bring it across half court. That pass goes in the corner. Absolutely no one there. Trying to save it inbounds was Chris Lee. Tried to bounce it off an Everett player, and it looks like he was successful. He managed to save it. Hamilton inbounds. Weimer bouncing there, trying to block him off. Shot from Lee is no good. 
Johnson across half court, passes it to the corner. Martin. They're going to call a charge on Martin. So with 7.01 on the clock, the ball's going to go back to Edmonds. Tritons with a one-point lead. Hamilton comes across half court. Weimer meets him. Barnes with it. Off balance shot, put back no good. We're gonna see it last touch by the Tritons, out of bounds. Trojan basketball, just over six and a half left. Everett down by one. Inbounds contested, fought for and Tritons come up with it. Behind the back pass, a little too fancy. It's gonna be Everett basketball. Shot for three, Martin! Ethan Martin drops it in, Everett up by two. Chris Lee, the defense chant starting here in the house. And that's going to be a blocking foul. That one's going to go against Everett. Ninth team foul. First personal on Weimer. That will send Hamilton to the line. And the shot is good. Cuts Everett's lead down to one. Substitutions. Got to bring Derek Smith and Rafe McEnroe back in. Second shot from Hamilton on the way. And it's good. Tie game, 74 apiece. 5.58 left. Pass goes to Johnson. Shot up. Drops off the other side. McEnroe with the rebound. Sends it outside. Johnson with it again. New shot clock. Long three. Short. Right there for the rebound is Smith. Ever getting the boards. Six on the shot clock. Five. Johnson. Can't get anything to happen there. Tritons with the ball. Rolls off. They get the rebound. Chris Lee over here to Hamilton. Motley. Shot from the line. No good. Rebound Smith. Jalen will bring it across half court. Martin. It's poked out of bounds. Well, they're going to say he got some flesh on it too. That's going to be a foul. Second personal foul on Hamilton. And we're going to get a timeout. Tied up at 74, 4.44 to go. We'll be right back. Physical and Hand Therapy is the Northwest premier physical and hand therapy group with over 35 clinics located throughout the Puget Sound area and multiple located throughout Everett. There is an IRG clinic located in a neighborhood near you. Our neighborhood clinics provide compassionate and individualized care in a friendly environment. The clinics use the latest techniques and technologies to achieve exceptional results. Head to IRGPT.com to schedule your free movement screen today.
McEnroe puts ever back on top by two, 78-76. Shot up, and we are tied back up at 78. Back and forth. I'm going to say out of bounds. It's going to be Edmonds basketball. Chance for the Tritons to take the lead. Motley to inbound. Lee with it. Headings all over him. He's going to fade back and drops it in. Edmonds up by two, 3.30 to go. Long pass, Martin, cross half court. Shot for three, nothing but net. Jared Smith. It's Everett up by one. Frightens come back. Edmonds up by one. McEnroe gets the poke away. Motley lays it in and a chance for one more. And that is going to be foul number five on Rafe McEnroe. So McEnroe is done for the evening. Canaxis comes back in. Motley going to the line. Chance to put Edmonds up by four. can't. 84-81. Everett down by three. Johnson. Back to Jalen. Blocked. Tritons with the ball. And a bit of momentum. Lee with it. Drives. Gets it to fall. Five point ball game, 86 81, 210 to go. Johnson across half court, passes over to Martin. Martin drives off the glass, can't get it. Whistle blows. It's going to be the fourth personal on Josiah Pierre. That's going to send Ethan Martin to the line. Trojans down by five. And they're still down by five. That one just... Went all the way in and all the way back out. That one is good. Four point ball game, 86-82. Motley across half court, two minutes to go. Whistle blows. They're gonna call a foul, fourth personal on Chris Lee of the Tritons. Everett Ball. Inbound to Jalen. Defense falls back. Motley will meet him at half court. Gets it back, shot. And it'll drop in. They'll say he was behind the line. I wasn't sure if his toe was across. It's a one point ball game. was very close in that shot. I was waiting to see what the official scorers would do. Sims with it. Bounces it in. 
Lee Pickle takes the shot and he'll get it to drop. Good for two. Three point ball game. Johnson with it. Drives underneath. Can't get the shot up. Triton's with the ball. One minute left. Trojans need a stop here. And then they need to get some points. We're going to get a timeout. Triton's call the timeout. We're going to take a little break, talk about it. Everett down by three, 88, 85, 53.4 to go on the clock, and we'll be right back. We are Northwest Plus Credit Union. We're different than banks. We are a not-for-profit financial cooperative. That means we're owned by our members, not by out-of-state investors. We opened our first location in 1939 in Everett. Today, anyone who lives, works, or worships in Washington can be a member. Expect more. Experience local. Check out Northwest Plus Credit Union today. Patrick, Jake from State Farm. Explain this bundling thing again. All right, Coach Reed. Let's say these fries are your car, right? And uh huh. And this burger is your home. Okay. It can be more affordable if you bundle them together. Kind of like a combo meal. Kind of like a combo meal. Mmm. Explain it again with those nuggies. Oh. Bundling. Just another way to save with a personal price plan. Like a good neighbor, State Farm. Is 53.4 seconds left to go. Triton basketball. Sims with it. Over to Motley. Direction traffic. Seven on the shot clock. Six, five, four, three. He'll take a shot. Hits nothing. There's a shot clock violation. Trojans are going to get it back with 32.8 left to go, down by three. 2.8 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock, and we are going to get a timeout. Everett wants to draw this one out. Edmonds, 88. Everett, 85. We'll be right back. I've always had passion for writing in sports. Everett Community College has given me the opportunity to pursue a career in sports journalism that combines the two. The athletic scholarship I received, along with affordable tuition, have made it possible for me to run track while writing for the student newspaper and my advisors have helped me stay on track to graduate and transfer to a university. I'm Aiden Lur, and I chose EVCC. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Good kisses. Good kisses. You heard how loud I, no, I, I heard. I heard. It wasn't you. Yeah. It was the. Sub. 33.4 seconds on the clock. Trojans with the ball down by three. Jalen Johnson coming across half court. Martin back to Johnson. Shot from the corner. Back iron. Another shot from the corner. In and out. Everett with the rebound. Tie up. Arrow would favor the Trojans. 15.6 seconds on the clock. Shot clock is off. Jalen going to inbound. He gets it in. Martin on the outside. 11 seconds. 10 seconds. Shot for three. Air ball. Fight for the rebound. They're going to say Edmonds basketball. One second to go. And we're going to get a timeout, cool everybody down. 
Edmund, Edmonds, 88, Everett, 85. One second left to go. We're going to take a quick break. Now we're going to keep it right here. The officials discussing things. See if they're going to go back and check the uh, instant replay. They are. So officials time out. If it was a jump ball, the arrow favors Edmonds anyway. So that's not going to help Everett. Edmonds coming back out on the court. The refs calling him back. All right, looks like they are coming out of replay. <laughs> Jalen trying to get early word on, on, on what they were saying. Okay, it's going to be Triton basketball. 1.9 seconds on the clock. Inbound. Poked away, but out of bounds. One second rolled off the clock. It's going to be Edmonds basketball again. Everett. All right, they are going to discuss it. They're going to they're going to go back and check instant replay once again, make sure they get this right, and see exactly who touched it last before it went out of bounds. This call, I, I 0.9 seconds. I don't know if there'd be a chance to steal and get a shot. There'd barely be enough time if you were inbounding it to your own guy and get a shot. But if it is Everett basketball, at least it's in a good, good spot. Over here on the sideline, just underneath our camera, on the Everett end of the court. So one second rolls off and they are back to instant replay. They're watching the same view that you are getting from home. They're actually watching the YouTube stream. They're able to roll it back, slow it down, go frame by frame if they need to. All right, we're going to have a different combination of officials checking it out. Everett trying to come out on the court. <laughs> Triton's coming out. They get sent back. Everybody's wanting to finish this one out. So all the officials have seen the replay. They're now having a conference about it to see what the last nine or nine tenths of a second are going to be like. See how much of a chance Everett's going to have here to maybe bring this one back. 
They fought back in the second half valiantly. Coming out of halftime, or going into halftime, shooting cold down to the Tritons, and then they fought back, fought back, tied it up, took the lead back and forth, and now they're down by three with nine tenths on the clock. All right, they're going to the scorer's table. Everett basketball. All right. Little bit more life here. Trojan ball. They put another half a second on the clock. 1.4. A little bit more time for a catch and a shot. Jalen's going to inbound. Got Canaxis, Martin, Smith. Timeout. And Harding is the fourth one out there. We're going to get another timeout on the floor. We're going to take a little break. 1.4 seconds left on the clock. We'll be right back. What makes a name? You might think it's the game winners or the highlights, but the foundation is ours. Sacrifice. And failure. Thousands of reps. Did you think it was easy? The work behind this name will make it echo forever. All right, we are back. Trojan basketball down by three, 1.4 on the clock. Jalen Johnson to inbound. Martin with a shot. Long. He got it. He got it off in time. Everett had a chance, but just couldn't get that last shot in, and that is going to be your final. Edmonds, 88. Everett, 85. Trojans fall in the opener here of conference play. Coming up, we are going to be hitting the road. The Trojans will be hitting the road for the next couple of, of uh Outing Saturday, January 19th. Trojans are going to be at Bellevue. The next Wednesday, they're heading north to Skagit Valley to take on the Cardinals. Our next home game, I will be here with you, is Saturday, January 20th. Shoreline coming into town. Hope to see you here. If I don't see you here, I hope you see me or you hear me and see the Trojans on your TV as we'll have it for you once again live right here on Trojans Live. Again, 88-85, Everett falls to the Tritons in a nail-biter. I'm Michael Ghost, and I'll see you next time.